How's it going guys and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be looking at this so it's called a quad lock and it's the quad lock mount and I'm here with uh, Mark here who's uh, test riding his 748R he's having a bit of problems with it so anyway let's get to see what I think of this thing Okay, now here is the view of the quad lock when you got your phone set up in portrait mode and I've got it on this handlebars here because this is the uh, Ducati X the Avel um, and the, it's really easy to put on a handlebar mount on this bike and I've got it set to portrait, it doesn't interfere with the tank when you've got it in, you know, uh, on full lock or anything like that and um, you know it's a perfect kind of sat nav setup as well you know with the portrait and all that kind of stuff so anyway I'm going to flip back to the garage and I'll show you the whole setup and how it all works uh, but I just thought I'd show you what it actually looks like when it's on the bike and you know in your uh, first person point of view there okay guys so you saw what it was like actually on the bike now I'm going to show you my setup that I've actually got here on the handlebar so basically uh, there's a few things you're going to need first obviously you need a quad lock case now I'm I've got the Samsung Galaxy S22 at the minute um, and this is using the uh, new mag case which actually comes with magnets around it um, which allows you to magnetically attach it to a mount but um, you don't want to do that with the uh, uh, motorcycle because it's not as secure as using the actual normal twist lock mechanism which quad lock are famous for which is a hell of a lot more secure and it won't come off unless you physically untwist it so the mag case is more for like using inside a car where you can just you know pop it on and pop it off where you're not going to get uh you know hit, hit hit by wind or bumps and stuff like that so obviously you need a phone with a quad lock case now one bad thing about quad lock is they only can't really cater for iphone samsung and um, huawei devices uh, oh yeah and the google pixel as well so every other phone will have to use uh, a universal adapter which looks like this so the universal adapter is actually just simply like a sticky pad with a quad lock uh, socket on it which you can um, stick onto the back of a phone case or your phone itself and then obviously it allows you to use it with any phone really um, it is quite secure because I had it on my old OnePlus phone because they don't do an official case for it um, but that's something that you can use and it does a pretty good job but it does obviously stick out from your case quite a bit which is quite annoying um, but yeah, it's a, it's a solution anyway if you don't have uh, you know one of the quad, uh, quad lock compatible phones. So yeah, once you've got your phone case, the uh, other two things obviously you need is the quad lock basic mount, which is the Moto mount, um, and then you've got two other options for upgrade. Obviously, you can just go with the basic mount, stick it on, and then you're good to go. It'll do the job. Um, but there are um, two things that I would probably recommend. The first thing would be the uh, vibration dampener, which Quadlock do. And the idea of the vi vibration dampener is, is it's supposed to um, allow the, uh, the, the phone to wobble a little bit um, softly, so it's not getting loads of micro vibrations as you're riding along, which has been known to damage some phone cameras with the optical image stabilization in the actual camera of your mobile. So it might be worth getting one of them to save yourself from breaking your phone camera over time from micro vibrations and that's what it's designed for second thing obviously you would probably want to charge it if you're going to use it as a sat nav or use it for a long period of time on your bike um, now they do two charges they do a standard wired one and they also do a wireless one as well now for me myself I've actually gone for a wired one because it actually the wired version lets you do uh, fast charging whereas the, obviously the wireless one doesn't um, and you can just get yourself a small short cable and stick it into the bottom of your, uh, of your phone and you don't really notice it there anyway um, but it you know it's quite easy to use it's cheap as well compared to the wireless one which is actually quite expensive um, but you know if you need something that's more waterproof water resistant that you don't want uh, water getting into the uh, charging connector as you're riding which can put, uh, pause the charging now the 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 usb charger itself is actually waterproof but if you get water in the connector it will probably stop charging which i've had in my uh experience myself when you're actually riding and it's raining so that's something to bear in mind where you won't have that problem with a wireless charging but obviously if your phone hasn't got wireless charging then that's the way to go but it's the best uh, charger for speed because it does fast charging as well 
So I recommend that as well. So let's just show you how the system works. Okay, so here is the quad lock system itself actually on this little kind of arm mount here, which is plugged, uh, obviously clamped to the handlebar. And then I've got here, which is the vibration dampener at the bottom. And then this itself is the actual uh, charger, which you can put a USB in and then obviously your quad lock mount as well there. So it's quite simple in the way it works. All you've got to do is line up the, um, the uh, pattern there to the pattern on this little dock here and you just pu push it on and then twist it. So here we go. Uh, there, and now it's secure. It ain't going anywhere unless you push down this push, push to release tab and then you can pull the actual uh, phone off. So it's very, very well secure. So you just simply push it down like that twist it and you can take it off. Now it does take a bit of getting used to actually trying to line up the thing. It is a bit of a learning curve because there's times where I'm trying to fish around and can't quite get it, but that's something to bear in mind. So obviously if you want to charge it, all you got to do, plug this thing in there, dead easy. I put the phone on the, uh, the charger. Obviously if you've got the uh, wireless charger, then um, you know you won't have to do this this plug and in step but as soon as you plug it in there we go the phone is actually charging and it says they're fast charging as well 76 percent which you get with the wired thing you won't get that with the uh, wireless uh, version and then obviously if you want to unplug it you know i can just go like that dead easy and it's a really nice and neat solution now if you want to uh, the way i've routed it now if you want to know where i've routed it so you basically get this power cable which comes out here and then i've uh, fished that down here dead neat and i followed the original wiring uh, loom for the bike which goes basically underneath the uh, fuel tank so i just lifted up the fuel tank took the cable underneath and then what you get here is this so this is um uh, let me just unplug this so that is a quad lock sae connector you can also plug it into the positive negative terminals of your battery but if your bike's got sae it's dead easy all you got to do is use this connector you plug it into your bike's sae connection port so this is the ducati x diavel s which has already got an sae connection underneath the seat and you can simply just plug that into there and it'll start charging and it's good to go so really really easy to set up it's the same situation for the wireless charger as well you just do the same thing um so yeah I, I really like it it's quite a good solution and that's pretty much it so hope you like this quick uh, review of the quad lock and tell me what you think of it if you've got any questions about the quad lock motor mount give us a shout i'll be happy to help out catch you on the next one